I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours, and ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in Audio Drama Networks. This is Mutual. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. Brought to you by DrFloyd.com. It is the morning of Thursday, December 17th, 1903. This is the day that the Wright brothers make their very first flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Unbeknownst to them, the doctor that they have asked to stand by in case of any mishaps is none other than the evil mastermind, Dr. Steve. He is bent on stealing a part of the Wright brothers' airplane and selling it on eBay once he returns to the future. Hey, Dr. Steve, want to give me and Orville a hand pushing the plane in place? Well, sure, Wilbur. I'm happy to help any way I can. <laughs> Can it, Fidget, and stick to the plan? What breed of dog did you say that was again, Dr. Steve? Oh, well, uh, Fidget here, well, he's a uh, a soccer spaniel. A very rare breed. Uh, Say, Wilbur, what is that odd-looking thing there on the end of the left wing? That big red thing there? Yes, that big red thing right there. That's the part that Orville insisted we put on the plane. It supposedly is a logo for our peanut company. He calls it an embarker. An embarker? Yeah, I don't know either. I just humored him and and stuck it on. That's it, Fidget. That's the thing we'll steal, but only when the moment's right. As Dr. Steve continues with his evil plans, let's check in with our heroes who have just landed at the far end of Kitty Hawk. Dr. Floyd, are we too late? I doubt it. Knowing Dr. Steve, he'll try whatever he's planning right at the moment the rights are supposed to make history. Well then, let's not waste any more time. (laughs) Chips is right. We have to be careful. We can't let Steve see us. Let's approach carefully and wait for the exact moment. As Dr. Floyd and the gang carefully approach, the Wright brothers are just about to begin their famous flight. Okay, now let's go over this again. Orville, you're piloting. I'll run alongside the right wing to steady it. And now we need someone else to steady the left wing. Well, I can do that. Excellent. Well, we're all set, and let's get ready to fly. Onward into history. And onward into a healthy bank account, Fidget. The Wright Brothers and Dr. Steve get into position just as Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, and Chips round a sand dune to see what's going on. At that moment, the engine of the Wright Brothers' plane sputters to life. Oh no, we're too late, Dr. Floyd. The Wright Brothers are about to take off, and Dr. Steve is up there with them. Hang on, Dr. Grant. Let's just watch and see what happens. Our heroes watch in attentive attention as the Wright Brothers begin to move their plane forward. Go, go, go. Come on, take off, Orville. I'm trying. Something's weighing us down. The plane is too heavy. We need to make the plane lighter. The Wright brothers frantically search for something to make the plane lighter as they are rapidly running out of runway. While they do, Dr. Steve is lost in his own machinations. Now's my chance. If I swipe the Embarker now, they'll be so excited that they are actually flying that they'll never notice me slipping away with it. Surreptitiously, Dr. Steve starts loosening the bolts of Orville's big red logo on the left wing. Dr. Grant notices Dr. Steve's fidgeting. Dr. Floyd, look! Dr. Steve is doing something to the wing! Let's go! We've got to stop him! Dr. Steve keeps frantically loosening the bolts, and as the last bolt is free, Dr. Steve grabs the Embarker and begins to run away from the plane. The moment the Embarker was off the wing, the Wright Brothers' plane lifted off the ground and soared into the air. Dr. Steve, oblivious to what was going on behind him, ran towards his ship. I've got it. It's mine. Fidget, let's get out of here. Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, and Chips catch up to the Wright Brothers' plane 12 seconds after and 120 feet from the point that it took off. We did it, Orville. We did it. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Gentlemen, congratulations. But there is a problem. We saw Dr. Steve steal something from off the plane. And we're lucky he did. Turns out that's what was weighing us down. But what did he take? It was that big red thing on the end of the wing. Oh. Oh, that was Orville's red embarker. Yeah, I guess we didn't need that after all. That's right. We achieved the first control sustained flight in a heavier than aircraft. Now people will be able to get from here to there, eating our peanuts all the way. We'll be the nut kings of the world. Here you guys go. Have a free bath. Gee, thanks. As a Wright brother celebrate their victory, Dr. Grant watches Dr. Steve race across the sand. Should we go after him, Dr. Floyd? No, he took something that wasn't part of the plane when it flew. I think he's going to have a hard time trying to sell that on eBay. People will never believe that there was such a thing as Orville's red inbocker. I suppose you're right. Let's just get back to our ship so we can track where Steve and Fidget go next. Okay, Dr. Floyd. Boy, these aren't too bad. You want some? Some what? Some right nuts. How do you know which nuts are the right nuts? They're all right nuts. Well, if they're just all right, I'm not sure I want to eat them. I didn't mean they were just all right. I meant that they are from the rights. I didn't know nuts had political views, but that would explain the Unabomber. Look, do you want what's left of these right nuts or not? Well, if there's something left of them... Oh, never mind. What kind of nuts do you have? Cashews. Gesundheit. So anyway, what kind of nuts do you have? Peanuts, pine nuts, Macadamia. Ooh, macadamia. Our heroes argue about the right nuts all the way back to their ship. Soon they are racing through time and space to make sure that the plans of Dr. Steve and Fidget are always thwarted. Tune in next week for the next amazing episode of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd.